This is Tom Renacki and I'm going to be talking about arthritis. There's a lot of great remedies out there and there's a lot of things people are doing incorrectly, including one gigantic misconception. So make sure you stick around to the end because we want to get your arthritis pain feeling better and we're starting now. So there are a lot of different types of arthritis. The big one that we're going to be focusing on is osteoarthritis. So this is the one where your cartilage disappears in your joints. And people used to think this was just wear and tear, and it still kind of is. Like if you break your knee and it cracked through the cartilage, that's wear and tear. If you're very heavy and you're on concrete floors all day, you could get osteoarthritis. But also there's new science now that shows something called adipokines. Basically in our fat with gaining weight, these can signal our cartilage to basically break down. It's called autophagy. There's a lot of cutting edge science and I'm not gonna pretend that everybody knows all the answers because we're always learning new things, but that's why the neck, the hands, other joints besides your knees, hips, and lower back, and your feet can develop osteoarthritis. Now there's other types of arthritis too. There's rheumatoid arthritis, there's lupus, there's psoriatic arthritis. All of these are autoimmune reactions that are associated with your body's signaling pathways where the body attacks itself. There's also gout. So these are crystals of uric acid that develop in the joints. But today we're focusing mostly on osteoarthritis. There's a links below on things like gout and rheumatoid arthritis. And the big disclaimer is always get diagnosed. There's a lot of different types of arthritis. Make sure you have the proper diagnosis. That's probably remedy number one. But the big thing is, I love this saying, it's called motion is lotion. So there's a lot of studies that basically talk about the more pressure you put on your joints, the stronger it actually makes your cartilage. So athletes who should have the most wear and tear, they actually have the strongest and the thickest cartilage because as pressure develops from top to bottom in weight bearing, it not only strengthens our bones, but it strengthens the cartilage in our joints. Studies have shown that the fluid within the joint called your synovial fluid, when exposed to stress, it actually presses on the cartilage and creates an upregulation of chondroitin and glucosamine. So yes, these are the two supplements that people take. And I talk about those at the very end and have some links for that. But naturally with more activity, more loading, in equal loading, people actually develop an upregulation in these cartilage building blocks. So that's huge. You know, that destroys the misconception of, you know, the more weight it breaks down because athletes have thicker cartilage. So that's why with my patients, I find mobility is so, so effective. So rather than somebody sitting in a wheelchair and getting wheeled around and getting stiff, tight tendons and weaker cartilage, it makes a lot of sense to get them up on a walker, get them moving, get them exercising as much as possible. That's why physical therapy after a hospital, after surgery is so, so important to work with your physical therapist and your doctor. Pain and osteoarthritis. So pain and osteoarthritis are not always linked. There's a lot of factors. There's a lot of times people come in with horrible osteoarthritis, horrible, like their ankles, are really bad, they have heel spurs, their joints in their foot show osteoarthritis, but this person's like, no, I'm just here for like a wart or an ingrown toenail. They do not care about their osteoarthritis and it's somebody who's moving all the time. People feel pain differently. Your brain releases a lot of different factors. You have endorphins, enkephalins, dynorphins, and these are all pain relievers. So it's kind of the runner's high. When a runner goes running, you get a lot of pain relief. There's also a lot of psychological conditions. So have you been in chronic pain for over three months? There's something called decentralization syndrome where it's harder to get out of your pain pathways. There's also depression and other neurological conditions such as peripheral neuropathy, which could amplify how people feel pain. And down in the show notes, I go over some of these and long-term strategies. But with the chronic pain pathways, that's where something like magnesium could potentially help out. And we talk about that a little bit in another video. Here's the link to magnesium. Here's kind of my pathway that I like to follow with people. Number one, increased body fat and metabolic syndrome. So diabetes, other disorders with being overweight and not having a great diet contribute to adipokines. There's signaling that can create pro-inflammatory markers in your joints, wear away at your cartilage, 
They can make your tendons stiff. So for example, diabetes can make your tendons and ligaments stiffer. And there's no secret, the more inflammation, the more stiffness, the more fat we have, the more likely you are to have osteoarthritis, joint pain, joint stiffness. Number two is you want to get on a plan to start rehabbing as effectively as possible. The big trick here is the more you move, the more pressure your synovial fluid, which is the joint fluid inside the joint, puts on your cartilage. This has been shown to increase chondroitin glucosamine. So you want to start rehabbing. I have a lot of great videos for the foot and ankle. There's a lot of great videos online too that I link, but start moving. Don't sit in bed resting, trying to get better, unless a doctor told you you had an injury. If it's just straightforward arthritis, you got to get your muscles stronger, you got to get your joints stronger, and you got to get them more mobile. So eat healthy. I have a great video. I go over the top seven foods that are the worst for your arthritis pain. I'm going to link that below, but there's great foods to eat. So stop eating the bad foods. I go over them in the video and start eating good foods. Take a look at this right here. See how much that foot flattens out? That stretches all the joints on the inside of that foot right there and crushes the ankle. See how the ankle's squishing? But watch this. On it, low cost orthotic see how it's supported so an orthotic can stop your foot from turning out it can stop your knee from buckling in the muscles don't get as strained the joints don't get as strained and that will let you start moving kind of safely putting into practice that motion is lotion so me as a podiatrist if you're in michigan you can come see me but i do a biomechanical exam i check the lower back the hips the knees the feet Almost always people are tighter in one hip, one iliopsoas muscle, one hamstring, one thigh, one inside of the ankle turns out more, one foot turns out the other direction. All of this loads the joints incorrectly and that synovial fluid's not distributed equally. With the proper insoles, with the proper ankle brace, with the proper shoes, we can quickly line people up and get them moving, get them into physical therapy. Their joints will load very, very quickly in the proper alignment. I've seen people that had bone on bone uh, arthritis very frequently going for knee surgery. We do a quick examination, loosen some muscles, show them some quick things, how to straighten their gait and walk properly. And very quickly, they start improving 10% better, 20% better, 40% better, 50% better. That's where biomechanical analysis can come in. It doesn't have to be with a podiatrist, although I love doing that kind of stuff. Your orthopedic surgeon, you know, your physical medicine and rehab doctor, even chiropractors do a great job and gradually and safely start putting more weight, that cartilage to start regenerating and thickening like those elite athletes. When your feet are straight and there's not a lot of overpronation, your knees can be relatively straight. But take a look here. When your foot turn out or overpronate, your knees buckle in. So let me show you here. This person's feet are clearly overpronating. The ankles are sagging in and the knees are most likely sagging in. Well, for sure they're sagging in. You just can't see them here. So the trick is the knees in and the foot's out with overpronation. Now with someone who's running straight, so you can see here, the feet are perfectly aligned. The knees are going to load properly. So that means that's going to strengthen the cartilage over time. Now it's tough to know this 100%, but this is what I would predict for this particular patient. What I notice with most people is the foot that's tighter. So you can see my left foot doesn't turn up as much here. It has to turn out. That puts more unequal loading on the knee, whereas the right foot's more flexible. So the left foot is more likely to lead to overpronation. So take a look, because it doesn't pull up as much, it's 10 degrees tighter, it has to turn out. That puts pressure on the knee. In my experience, as you straighten those muscles with physical therapy, stretching, exercising, massaging, it really makes a big difference in that joint pain. A really, really big difference. Nerve pain and mind-body relationship. So there's a mind-body relationship. This can cause increased sensation of pain. So some people with horrible osteoarthritis that are positive and upbeat, they feel almost no pain. Then there's people who are depressed, suffering from chronic pain. Every little thing can cause them pain. This is not your fault if this is you. There are systems and pathways that need to be addressed. And we have some videos on that below as well. 
There's also something called peripheral neuropathy. If you have numbness, burning, tingling, aching, pain out of proportion in your nerves, we have videos for that as well. There's great supplements for joint pain. There's great diets for joint pain. Uh, we try and address all of this. So check down below. We have great videos and we're going to keep getting more and more better videos because I love getting my patients mobile. I hope you guys are feeling well. Keep following up with your biomechanical specialists and feel better. And if this made a difference, please subscribe, please share. It makes a huge difference for us.